Hello everyone, welcome to Object Oriented Programming. Now, in this subject, we had started inheritance. Now, today I am going to explain another types of inheritance that is multiple inheritance. Now, first of all, what is multiple inheritance? In multiple inheritance, a class can inherit from more than one classes. It means it can be more than one base class and one derived class, right? So one subclass is inherited from more than one base classes. In multiple inheritance, it allow us to combine the features of several existing classes as a starting point for defining new classes. It is like a child inheriting the physical features of one parent and the intelligence of another now as i describe in the diagram there are two base classes base class one that is class a and base class two that is class b and from these both the base class one child class is derived and that is class c now let me explain one example here is one definition of a program first one you have to take a class base class m in that private members or we can say protected member integer m and with two public member function void get m and void set m void get m is used to accept the value of variable m and void set m will display the value of variable m same as class M there is another base class that is class N in that one protected member is integer N with two public member function get N that accept the value of variable N and void set N that display the value of variable N now from this two base class derive a class derive a child class that is class P and it display the multiplication of variable m of class m and variable n of class n so it display the multiplication of two variable m and and in display member function that is public right so we have to do this program in turbo c now the program definition i have already explained to you now first write header file has include iostream.h and has include conio.h now write the first class that is first base class that is class m with protected data member that is integer m and public member function void get m and void set m get m function is used to accept the value of m variable and set is used to display the value of m variable now same as take another class class n class n m n both are base class kisi se derived nahi karna hai to yahan pe kuch nahi likhna hai now in class n write another protected member that is n and public member function same as class m that is get n that accept the value of n variable and void set n that display the value of n variable right it is end of the class now derived a class class p that is child class now in that you have to write multiplication only in display function to directly write public section mein hume kya likhna hai void display right now ab p se humne class p is a child class derived karna hai to m and n base class mein ye class derived hona hai to hum likhenge colon then public base class name m and comma another access modifier for example public can write n publicly humne derived kiya hai m or n base class ko theek hai beech mein comma aayega do base class ke beech mein right ab hum definition likhenge now we can also write definition here also right but we can start from here void 
first of all m class with scope resolution operator get m right yahan pe hum variable mein bhi value pass kar sakte hain to hum integer a likhenge to definition mein change karna padega fir integer a same n mein hum parameter through value pass karenge to hum b likhenge so here just m equal to a theek hai and void set m likhenge with m class name scope resolution operator and set m it will display the value of 1 so we have to write c out slash n m variable equal to value m right now take n class member function that is get an integer b in that you have to write an equal to b okay now void n with scope resolution operator set n function in that it will display the value of n so see out स्लैश एन 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 इक्वल टू हमें क्या लिखना है एन की वैल्यू वेरिएबल एन राइट नाउ अब हमें पी क्लास का फंक्शन लिखना है सो पी क्लास नेम विथ स्कोप रिजोल्यूशन ऑपरेटर फंक्शन नेम इज डिस्प्ले नाउ ही हमें क्या डिस्प्ले करना है मल्टीप्लीकेशन दैट इज आंसर इज आंसर क्या प्रिंट होना चाहिए एम इन टू एन मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रिंट होना चाहिए ठीक है स्लैश एन राइट सो ये है डिस्प्ले फंक्शन नाउ इंटीजर एम मेन फंक्शन विथ इट स्ट्रक्चर नाउ हमें चाइल्ड क्लास का ऑब्जेक्ट क्रिएट करना है तो पी ओ बी ठीक है पी क्लास जो है वो चाइल्ड क्लास के उसका ऑब्जेक्ट हमने क्रिएट किया ओ बी नाउ ओ बी डॉट पहले एम वेरिएबल की वैल्यू एक्सेप्ट करेंगे तो गेट एम फॉर एग्जांपल फाइव देन एन वेरिएबल की तो ओ बी डॉट गेट एन हियर पी वेरिएबल कंटेंट ऑल द मेंबर फंक्शन ऑफ एम एंड ऑल द मेंबर ऑफ फंक्शन मेंबर फंक्शन ऑफ एन एज वेल एज इट्स ओन फंक्शन डिस्प्ले राइट सो हम अब पी के ऑफ पी क्लास के ऑब्जेक्ट थ्रू हम सभी मेम्बर जो है वो कॉल कर सकते हैं लाइक थ्री ठीक है एन की वैल्यू हमने क्या दी थ्री नाउ हम डिस्प्ले करेंगे ओ बी डॉट सेट एम एम की वैल्यू प्रिंट होगी ओ बी डॉट सेट एन एन की वैल्यू प्रिंट होगी एंड देन ओ बी डॉट डिस्प्ले मल्टीप्लीकेशन प्रिंट होगा राइट लेटस नाउ कंपाइल इट वन एरर अनएक्सपेक्टेड ओके दो बार मैंने यहाँ पे ये निकाल दिया है कंपाइल करो फिर से जीरो एरर रन इट राइट एम इक्वल टू फाइव एन इक्वल टू थ्री एंड आंसर इज फिफ्टीन राइट होप यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस प्रोग्राम ओके फाइन राइट तो यहाँ पे ये स्ट्रक्चर में आपको प्रोग्राम समझ में आ गया होगा ठीक है ना विथ मल्टी लेवल इनहेरिटेंस और वी कैन से सिंगल इनहेरिटेंस दर इज़ अ प्रॉब्लम दैट प्रॉब्लम इज एम्बिग्यूटी रिजोल्यूशन इन इनहेरिटेंस दैट इज ऑफ एम्बिग्यूटी नाउ ओकेजनली वी मे फेस अ प्रॉब्लम इन यूजिंग अ मल्टीपल इनहेरिटेंस विच इज वेन अ फंक्शन विद द सेम नेम अपियर्स इन मोर देन वन बेस क्लास नाउ फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज वन बेस क्लास क्लास एम एंड इन दैट वन मेम्बर फंक्शन दैट इज डिस्प्ले नाउ टेक अनदर क्लास क्लास एन विद द मेम्बर फंक्शन डिस्प्ले ऑल्सो सो हियर सेम नेम इन बोथ द क्लास इज क्लास एम एंड क्लास एन now both the class is base class of a class class p so class p is derived from class m and class n and class p also contain a method and that method is same as class m and n that is display method right so here one problem is occur with ambiguity how to resolve this ambiguity so here display function is used by the derived class when we inherit these two class and we can solve this problem by defining a name instance within a derived class or when we using the class resolution operator with the function name 
we can resolve this problem by using the scope resolution operator with the class name when we call the function we can use class name with scope resolution operator for example let me write integer main in that first create child class object that is ob now if i write ob dot display then it will override the method of class m as well as class n so here it will invoke the display method in p class right now if i want to call the display method of base class m then what we have to write ob dot m that is class name with scope resolution operator and then i have to call display method so it invoke the display method in class m now if i want to call the display method of base class n then i have to write ob dot n class name then scope resolution operator with function name that is display so it invoke the display in base class n right now now in this way we can also call the display method of child class like this ob dot class name p that is child class name with scope resolution operator and display so it invoked the display in p so in this way we can solve the ambiguity in multi-level inheritance as well as in single inheritance also right hope you understand these ambiguity resolution in inheritance right now you have one assignment like here is a one class student with protected data member role number and name with the variable get data and put data and class score is another base class in that protected data member subject 1 subject 2 and member function get marks and put marks get marks is used to accept the marks and put mark is used to display marks now from these two base class derived a class that is class result in that take two data members total and percentage total will add the subject marks and percentage will evaluate from total and in display function that is public member function of result class will display the result of student okay so you have to perform this assignment in turbo c so if you have any query regarding this multiple inheritance then you can message me thank you